Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Brennan Vincent. I work at Polar Signals. And today I'm going to talk about memory profiling with Rust and J.E. Malik. So why do we care about memory profiling? Why do we want to know what's using a heap space? Uh, memory's expensive, like AWS isn't free. That's why we get the happy hour tonight. Uh, it's <laughs> Easy to, it's easy to waste even in Rust that has features like RAII and zero cost abstractions. You can waste memory. And I think most importantly, it's inelastic. So unlike CPU, where if you're using too much CPU, you just get slower, if you're using too much memory, you get killed. So this is RustConf. So what's everyone's favorite programming language? That's right, it's Go. So <laughs> there's an example Go program here, uh, which sort of I wrote to explain like what inspired this, which is the Go pprof tool. And this is an example program that leaks uh, about like 1.8 megabytes of memory per second, uh, just to give you an example. So there's this pprof tool. You point at your Go program, and you get these flame graphs. So you see this you know, main calling D, calling C, calling B, calling A, et cetera. And each one leaks a little bit of memory. So we wanted to replicate that in Rust. Oh, my bad. They are both green. Uh, so Rust. We have the Rust J.E. Malik pprof library. Um, you have to use J.E. Malik as a replacement for the default memory allocator. Uh, and then if you do that, you can use its built-in profiling functionality, uh, which we, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a bit nervous. But uh, we have this Rust J.E. Malik pprof library, which translates from the J.E. Malik profiling format to the pprof format. Uh, which lets you basically use it um, in a similar way to you would use the Go pprof library. So here's how you do it. You include the JE mallocator. Uh, the tickv JE mallocator create is how you use JE malloc on Rust. And then our JE malloc pprof library, which does this conversion that I talked about. Designate JE malloc as your global allocator, uh, as you see here. Uh, and by the way, we have docs for all this. You don't have to retain all this right now. Uh, configure JE malloc for profiling with this special symbol that JE malloc knows how to look for in order to configure itself. Uh, and then dump, this is an example uh, of like an axum handler, but some way to dump the heap on HTTP requests. So uh, you, know, you can uh, have something that scrapes it uh, and downloads these profiles. So here's the result. Here's like a stub of a Rust program that does a similar thing to the Go program I showed. Uh, just leaks a bunch of memory in these functions that call each other. And here's what the results look like. I'm showing Parco, which is a, our open source uh, profiling program instead of pprof, but it works basically with the same format. And you can see here in this sort of metrics graph view uh, memory going up over time. Uh, you've Clicked a little dot here, and then what do you see? Um, a flame graph. Sorry, the bottom of this got cut off, but you see here sort of a flame graph with like main calling D, calling C, calling B, calling A, and you can see where is my heap space being used. Uh, okay, so that's basically it. So thanks for listening. Um, if you want to know more, come to our booth, or uh, we have a channel in the um, conference Discord that you can ask us about whatever you want, including this. So thanks, everybody. Thank you so much, Brennan.